This is my 1998 Chevy Prism. It's basically a Toyota with Chevy badges on it. And I've had this car now since uh, August of last year and I bought it for pure entertainment purposes to make videos with. And uh, man, have we had some fun in this car. I, I basically bought it to see how long it would last through certain experiments that I would do to the car. So what we started off by doing was putting it in park while driving. That's the parking pole. Ooh. And reverse while driving. And it made it through that with no problems whatsoever. Then after that, we did another experimental video, which was putting brake fluid in the gas tank. And I was completely convinced that the car would die, it would seize up somehow and just not make it through it. But it is currently running better than ever. And what I learned after the fact was that sometimes when you do that can actually clean out the injectors and so on. So the car is actually running better than it did before we put brake fluid in the gas tank. We've also taken it on some uh, crash derbies, not professional ones, but my friend and I have had some fun in the car. As you could tell, it's a little dinged up. The hood's a little bent. I don't have a left turn signal, stuff like that. Now the hood is not very functional either. So I have to keep it popped like this. Otherwise I can't get it open. You have to be two people to open the hood. So maybe you have somewhat of an idea of why I bought this car and the type of content that I wanted to create with it. In no way are they uh, scientific or correct at all it's purely meant for fun and entertainment so if you're watching this video today and you think that you might be learning something and becoming slightly smarter i would uh, advise you to maybe click off the video you might even lose some brain cells but you may gain some laughs because in today's video i'm going to do something that i've never heard of anyone else doing and it's purely out of curiosity and stupidity and that is what happens if you fill up the engine of a car with chocolate milk, which we have right here. One gallon of United chocolate milk. I have my little Ford silo thing that you get when you buy Fords. And I'm gonna unscrew the engine oil lid here, but I'm not having much luck. Ah, there we go, dang it. Yeah, as you might be able to tell, I'm not, I'm not a mechanic at all. Now the car is leaking some oil. It's also leaking some transmission oil and uh, the oil light actually comes on every now and then, depending on how I'm turning the car and so on. So I know that it's low on oil. It needs filled up with oil, but we're using this instead. And you might be asking yourself, why chocolate milk and not regular milk? Well, I, I thought that myself, but I don't think I've had a sip of chocolate milk in uh, over 20 years. That's good. So before I pour that chocolate milk in here, I'm actually going to start the engine up and then we're going to pour it in and see if we hear any difference. Yeah, this side, this side was too big. Anyhow, we're just going to pour it. All right, so we have plenty of uh, chocolate milk in the engine here. So what we're gonna do is we'll take it for a quick spin and see how it rides and see if it dies or what happens. If it doesn't, we're actually gonna pour some in the uh, gas tank. <laughs> we have chocolate milk splashed on the front windshield. All right, before we take off here. videos are not scientific in any way. It's pure entertainment. I just want to see what happens when you put chocolate milk in the engine of a car. How long does it last? It's not even a stutter. Fine. 
It's still ticking. It's still ticking. I guess we're gonna have to just add some more. All right, so now we're actually gonna turn the car off. That's it. All right, so we have a little bit left in here. We're gonna pour the rest of that back into uh, the engine. Last time we did the uh, brake fluid, people thought I was tricking them. As you can see, there's chocolate milk right there, and I spilled some also. That's it. That's all she wrote when it comes to chocolate milk, at least. Yeah, and as you can tell, I have a bit of a backup plan here. If she insists on uh, <laughs> staying alive. All right, startup time. Now she's starting, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna reset these trip meters here. There's another one. I'll reset that as well. And then we're gonna start driving. I'm gonna see how long she lasts with chocolate milk in the engine and chocolate milk in the gas tank. This is gonna be the most awesome car ever if I eventually make it home. But first I'm gonna go in this separate direction towards a place here in Pittsburgh called Moon Township. And then I'm gonna go home the 20 miles to where I live and then see if she, she makes it all the way home. If she does, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> These videos are so stupid, but I'm so impressed by this car. I mean, like it, it lasts, it seems like, through anything. Solutions. <laughs> seems like she's uh, fighting tooth and nail here. She's on her last breath. Maybe we should pour the, the last of the windshield wipes or fluid in there see what happens. See, the check engine light's blinking. Oh, something's smelling horribly bad here. The car is definitely acting like it's clogged with uh, something, which is obviously chocolate milk and uh, windshield washer fluid. But it comes and it goes. Oh crap, now it's dying. We're in an uphill too. Yeah, it's dying. Yeah, it's dying big time. I'm gonna have to pull over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Ho ho ho! She roared! 
George oh, back to life. That's the second time she dies on me during this video. I mean, I can't really drive it any further. It's going to die again, and I want to be stuck either way. Oh, there it died again. Yeah, I think that's all she wrote. We can get the mileage at least. 15.4 miles we drove with chocolate milk in the engine and in the uh, gas tank, plus some windshield washer fluid. She was a good car. Mm -hmm.